Hi everyone, welcome to Veronica Hug. Today I'll be using the Lang Yarns wool, Merino 120. It's 120 meters long for 50 grams in each spool, and the recommended needle size is 3.5 to 4.5 millimeters. So today I'll show you the fairy veil pattern as I like to call it. So it is dividable by six plus an additional stitch so that we keep the symmetrical shape and the left and right edge stitches that we always do on both sides. So I have 33 stitches, so 30 can be divided by 6 plus the 3, so the 1 and the 2 edge stitches. If you would like to do more, you always have to add by 6, so 39, 45 or even more. And if you would like to lessen, it works the same way, so 27, 21, and so on. So it's pretty easy. You can choose your own width and, of course, height or your total size. And when you get the wool that you want to use, we can get started. So the first step is going to be doing an edge stitch and knit stitch. First stitch is again knitwise, yarn over the needle and purl stitch. And now we will keep repeating our pattern with the six stitches. The first three stitches we do purl wise together. One purl stitch, one yarn over the needle, knit stitch, yarn over, and purl stitch. And that's what we keep repeating throughout the whole pattern. So three purl stitches together. One purl stitch, one yarn over, one knit, yarn over, and purl. And again. There we go, and again repeat. So the longer your piece is, the more times you gotta repeat this. We are almost at the end, so now we have four stitches left over. Five, sorry. So we do again three together. One purl stitch, yarn over, and one knit stitch. Edge stitch again knitwise. In the back rows, I'll do the stitches as they come meaning that if they were purl-wise, which you can notice by the little knot here, then we would again do them purl-wise. Yarn over, we do as a purl stitch, and then when we get to the knit stitches, we again do those knit-wise. So here again, knit stitch. Yarn over, we do a purl stitch, and when you see the little knot, you do another purl stitch. So we just keep doing them as they come. If you'd like, you can do just three knit, three purl. That's the same thing. I just explain why it is like that. So 
So three net and three purl. End with two purl stitches and the edge stitch again in purl stitch. Turn and then we already did the first two rows of our pattern. Now the third row we start again with the edge stitch, two knit stitches. And yarn over the needle. From here on, we again repeat the six stitches. So, take the first stitch onto your needle, the next two you do together, and you pull the first stitch over those two. So, that's why it's called, and that's how you do three stitches together pulled over, then yarn over, three knit stitches and again yarn over. And now you keep repeating three stitches together. Then yarn over, three knit stitches, yarn over. Three stitches together, yarn over, three knit, yarn over. Again, three stitches together, yarn over, three knit, yarn over. And end with three stitches together, yarn over and two knit stitches. And the end stitch, of course, as purl stitch. Then two purl stitches, yarn over again and purl stitch. So if you pay attention, you'll notice that the fourth row is simply just purl stitches. And with an edge stitch, again in purl stitch. Fifth row starts with the edge stitch. Then the first two stitches we do purl wise together. The next one also purl wise, yarn over, and then I repeat again six stitches. So one knit stitch, yarn over, one purl, three purl stitches together. One purl stitch and yarn over. Again, knit stitch, yarn over, purl stitch, 
three purl stitches together and one purl and yarn over. Knit stitch, yarn over, purl stitch, three purl stitches together and one purl and yarn over. One more time, knit stitch, yarn over, purl stitch, three purl stitches together and one purl and yarn over. At the end of the row, we do one knit stitch, yarn over and one purl stitch and two purl stitches together. And don't forget the edge stitch. Back row is again doing the stitches as they come, starting with one purl stitch and two knit stitches. and two purl and then we repeat them. So one purl, three knit stitches, two purl stitches, Purl stitch, three knit, two purl, one purl, three knit, two purl, one more time. One purl stitch, two knit, and the edge stitch. Seventh row starts with an edge stitch and two knit stitches together. Yarn over and knit stitch. And then we are again at the pattern section so we will again start with the repeated part. So two knit stitches, yarn over, three stitches together. I'll do it slowly so that you guys can follow me again. Again, after that comes yarn over and a knit stitch. And repeat, two knit stitches, yarn over, three together, yarn over, and the knit stitch. Two knit stitches, yarn over, three together, yarn over, and the knit stitch. Two knit stitches, yarn over, three together, yarn over, and knit stitch. And with two knit stitches and yarn over, and two stitches pulled over together, same method as before. Back row starts with an edge stitch. Four purl stitches, let's see. Yep, in this row we do all stitches purl wise. So this is row eight.
row 8 is done, and these 8 rows you just keep repeating for as long as you like. So you see that I repeated the 8 rows one more time, and you see the starting stitches on both ends, and then the 6 stitches that keep repeating, and you can probably notice it, the edge stitches on both sides look the same. So enjoy the pattern, and I'll see you next time. I hope you guys enjoyed, feel free to shoot a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to stay notified when I post something new. Bye!